Will this mean that LK Gundogan signs a new contract at Man City? Yes, so straight away with news that Pep Guardiola has officially signed his Man City deal. Thank fuck, by the way. Thank God that's out of the way. But this is hinting a report now from Jack Garn. It says that Ilke Gundogan, with the signing of this contract, has been given a bit of clarity on his future. I think there was a bit of news coming out as well that if he's signing his new contract, the hinges on Pep signing his new contract. So with that out of the way now, this could open up uh, a lane for Ilke Gundogan to start the club. I think we're. What about more than happy? Well, I'm more than happy with that. Anyway, I'm not actually sure what Joe thinks. Joe, fill them in. I mean, I'd be more than happy if it happens. Of course, we kind of expected this to be the case. He was, I believe, Pep's first signing at the club. So we kind of expected his future to really be depending on the manager's future, which it is. Um, so I, I could see it. I think it all kind of depends on him. He's in a similar sort of vain to what Fernandinho was in towards the end of his time here where he's the club captain, he's getting on a bit probably will be one year rolling contracts until the end of time, until he decides to leave of course we've got Barcelona sniffing about, there's probably other clubs that are interested you know, the fairy tale story would be him going back to Dortmund and replacing a possibly outgo- well, an outgoing Jude Bellingham where two prob- well, possibly us um, which would be co- I'd like a I can almost swap deal, but they get him for free and we have to pay out our ass for a 19-year-old. Um, but I'd be more than happy for him to stay. Of course, I kind of... I'm not really knowing what to expect. I don't know his intentions for one minute. This was before Pep signed his contract extension. It was looking very likely that he would be leaving, that he would be making way because we were going to sign a new midfielder. But, of course, there is the news that regardless of who comes in, who goes, you know, you know who stays who signs a contract extension, we're going to sign a midfielder because we want one. So I don't know whether that would play on his mind, but I'd I'd be happy. I'd be happy, more than happy, to see him sign a contract extension. But I'm not sure that it's going to happen. I don't really know at this stage. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat with you. I'm not 100% sure, but I do agree with you. I think he offers, I still think he offers so much to the same. I don't think he, I don't think he should be let go just yet. Kind of, well, look, I would say if, if Bangham coming in hinges on Gundogan going out, I'm sorry, I'm probably taking that. But I do love Gundogan. It's kind of mad, isn't it? Thinking that a few days ago, how, you know, we always saw Gundogan his first, what, three years maybe? He was just a bit, we always found a, kind of found him a bit inconsistent. Maybe he was never in anyone's preferred 11s, but he's just quickly turned into this little kind of, I want to say cult hero. I want to say cult hero. I mean, he's not, is he a legend, Joe? Oh, good question. Um, no, probably not yet. I don't. I think it depends on. It kind of depends on how he leaves. I'll ask you this, right? If we win the Champions League with him as a club captain this season, and he walks, what you said? Yeah, whoever. If we have long-standing players when we win that Champions League, they're automatically like, even if they're not long-standing. They are automatically classified as legends for bringing the first piece of, you know, real European silverware to the club. Like, you just are, that is a fact. But I don't know, I feel with the sort of hesitancy to say Sterling was a City legend, you can't classify Gundogan as a City legend. I think it kind of needs to stay for a bit longer. I think you're looking more to around, you know, 10 years being that sort of, all right, you're a legend. Or win, you know, doing something of note like when we won the first Premier League title, winning our first Champions League would be the next one, um, or something of that ilk, like a treble, like the United treble. Of course, we did the domestic treble, but like a, a proper treble, as people would say, something like that to be classed as a legend. So I'd I'd be hesitant to say a legend. He's definitely a cult hero. Those two goals against Aston Villa, you'll never ever ever forget them. Anyone who was watching, anyone who was there, of course, we were there. You'll never ever forget those. Those were like probably the best thing he's done. Of course, he had that mad goal scoring season the year before that, where he genuinely just came out of the blue. Of course, we started the year off with a double pivot and he was moved forward, which I think is why, you know, he became favourable because he played in a more favourable role. He sort of peps on managed to figure out where to fit him in. Of course, it's actually come to our detriment this season where he's tried to fit him in, where realistically he probably shouldn't be trying to fit him in. 
But I still think he has more to give. He's a we know with our style of football, us taking the lead in games a lot of times, or us you know waiting to break teams down because they just play with every man in the box. That he is a player that can combat that because he he can keep hold of the ball. He knows when to change pace. He knows when you know he can take the safe option if he needs to be risky. But I don't know, man. I don't know whether this is going to happen. Of course, I I wouldn't be against it because I feel like his just his experience alone. I'd love for someone like Bellingham to come in and have someone like Gundogan to like learn off of. Like that's the ideal thing if you look about it. Um, they are similar sorts of players where. They're not necessarily the the highest creators or the you know the most willing to run about. Of course, Bellingham being young, he will run about. But you know, they're players that would like to get in the box and score goals, late runs into the box. I feel like that's the sort of player Bellingham is more leaning towards. So learning off Gundogan would be a great thing. Of course, there are multiple narratives, like you said. If Bellingham coming in means we got to lose Gundogan, then I would take that because Gundogan is not going to be here forever. We're looking at Bellingham and going, he could be here for you know best case scenario sort of 10 years that sort of time frame best case scenario which is something that you have to do now and if you don't we've we've said this before um if we don't get bellingham now we'll go off to liverpool probably and we'll never get him so it's like now and ever for that sort of thing and i also think that you know right now it seems that barcelona are more interested in him because free transfer they're penny pinching bastards over there in spain so they want to sign anyone who's cheap so Listen, I'm, I, I've, I think I've said this one before. If we let Gundogan go on a free to Barcelona and it means that they stop going for Bernardo Silva and we could tie him down as well, I'm sorry, I'm taking it. I just am. I just am. It's unfortunate, but I just am. It's just like, it, I don't think it's in any way a slight towards Gundogan. That was just so fucking good. But fresh off watching the Portugal match against Uruguay, he was outstanding. But look, we've seen there's plenty of names that are kind of linked with Gundogan or linked with City in the event of Gundogan's departure but I don't know man I, I just don't think I'm ready to let him go yet like you said again Cult Hero you were, if you're there for the two goals even if you weren't there it's probably one of the best moments of your life I could say that for me that was one of if not the best moments of my life so there watch that go in I don't think I'm ready to let him go I don't think many people are to be honest with you again is he's had a meteoric rise as he's got older he's just fantastic he's a great player we're seeing him at the World Cup now as well I don't know, man. It just, it, it'll be a sad day he leaves, but it could be a worthy sacrifice, I mean, in my opinion. Look, let us know what you think. Well, let me think. Let me know. Do you think he's going to say? Do you think he's going to go? What do you think? Let us know. We're looking to get to 5K before the new year, please. Whatever you do, just like, share, comment, you know, yourself, push on the algorithm. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.